What's going on everybody, this is Mark from Solar Games and uh, for this video we're going to open up one of these draft boosters of Command of Legends, uh, Boulder's Gate. Uh, a draft booster, unlike a set booster, so if you see my other video, um, has 24 packs instead of 18, so uh, a couple more packs. However, each uh, pack also has a lower chance of like what I would call critting. Um, critical hit um, where you would have like four or five uh, rares. I think the most you can get in a draft booster, I think is three rares. So two rares plus the one in the foil, maybe four rares actually, is the most you can get in a uh, draft booster. Unlike a set, you can potentially get up to seven rares in mythics. This, the draft booster also has just less card variety. You're gonna basically get a bunch of commons. Uh, say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 commons, okay? Followed by one, two, three, four, I think. Uh, oh, three on commons. Background could be common or uncommon. And followed by a, a rare and, uh, sorry, a legendary creature and the rare. So and the foil. So there should be four, yeah, so each uh, draft booster can have up to four possible rares, and those are going to be either the background, the legendary, the actual rare itself, or mythic rare, and the foil. So there's that's where you're going to be able to get uh, potentially <coughs> more than the number of rares. That is just the pack. Yep. So in general, yeah, the best you can do is four rares, the worst you can do is one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So sometimes the thirteenth common is going to be this special card called the Faceless One. It is basically for drafting. It is it is both a, both a legendary creature and a background. It's useful if you don't have a commander you want to use. You can run this as any color. So there's our uh, let's see showcase goes here. Okay, and our yep and a foil, so this one is a two rare pack in this case. <clears throat> All right, so, kind of skip ahead, go faster now. So there's boom, boom, boom. Okay, uncommons, one, two, three. There's our legendary, there's our background, there's our actual rare, followed by the foil. So in this case, one rare for the pack. I have noticed that the draft packs have a higher chance of um, having the dual lands than the uh, set boosters. So I'm not sure if that was intentional, but that's what I've seen. Okay. So one, uh, another rare, the blade itself is our rare here. <clears throat> okay. Right, one, two, three. Yep. Boop. Okay. Commons, uncommons. Okay, shadow, see, I talk about rare land and I get one. So there's our Spire Garden, our rare land, number one. So I think lands we wanna track, and we wanna track our mythic rares, of course, and of course we wanna track, um, should we track foil, foil showcase maybe? Let's track that too, in case, see if it's also one a box. I'm pretty sure foil showcase does show up one per box as well. So our legendary is the showcase, uh, Ellen. There's our background, one rare, and a foil. <clears throat> okay. Boom goes here. Faces one makes it really easy to know where the commons end. Ooh, we get a Minsk. Our background is going to be an uncommon. The acrobatics is our rare, and uh, yeah, there we go. So our first mythic rare is the Minsk Embu. <clears throat> really strong card, actually. I played. Um, it's like a, <clears throat> a game I played uh, last Saturday uh, at the store. Um, that um, that round, I think, out of um, eighteen players or so, we drafted or we we opened. Um, I want to say, ooh, mythic number two. Uh, we oh, I want to say we opened eight or seven Minsk and Booze. So it's pretty insane uh, raids, actually. We actually opened more than that. But one of the players didn't even play his because um, he had a better card to play instead. So it was pretty good. But very strong and limited for sure. Uh, it's a, basically a very strong control deck there. Background, second land, excellent. So, all right, Luxury Suite, Inspire Garden are two lands. We already have two mythics, so we're doing pretty good for this box, man. I'm feeling pretty good. 
All right, so go through here. Common section done. The uncommons are legendary. Our background, Earthquake Dragon, and a Bronze Walrus. Um, lots of mana rocks, lots of mana rocks for this set. So um, you're definitely gonna be able to play pretty much whatever color you want, three colors, very doable in this set. Lots and lots of support for that. Okay, um, wow, Mythic number four, Majestic Genesis. Here we go. Sorry, Mythic number three. I'm already getting ahead of myself. So as you can see, the draft, uh, if you watch my set boosters, you'll note that about, I said, I mentioned about average uh, number of uh, mythic rares per box is about three. As you can see, we're maybe about, I'm not even really halfway through the box. Ooh, here we go, Miriam. Uh, that's a two. Uh, we're about maybe halfway through the box now, and we already hit mythic number three. So this is looking pretty good for uh, the draft boosters, definitely. And it's already, I've already hit two lands, so that's always good. Faceless one, one, two, three, four. One of these, one, and one. Frame line. Um, I think it's a decent artifact, um, but I honestly just haven't really, really looked into that one much. Hoarding Ogre, I remember that from um, from Dungeons Dragon set, core set. <clears throat> okay, Abel. Background, Tomb, Tomb Horror Adventure. Is that rare? Okay. There is a $20 rare, the Ogrim uh, of, the Archivist of Ogrim. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty sweet card if you can get it. Noble Heritage, Ooh, Reflecting Pool. Man, these rates are good, man. We already have three lands for this box, which if you remember also from the set boosters, that's a lot higher than the, uh, the rates inside the set booster. So, if you want to get the lands, open the draft boosters, is what I've realized, instead of the uh, set boosters. Wow, speaking of lands, there's four lands. Wait, can we do five lands for this box? That'd be insane if we can do five. Maybe we can go higher than five. Well, let's go five first, and then we'll see. Maybe this is the last land I'm going to get now that I've kind of talked about it. Okay, Lith, uh, Illithid Harvester. Charcoal Diamond, wow, that's actually really nice looking. Look at that. I love when they foil and they really pay attention to what they're like kind of highlighting inside there. The diamonds really highlight it. So it's a, it's a nice it's a nice holographic effect on the diamonds. I think, I think honestly, all the diamonds in foil look really nice, like way better than just normal foiling uh, that you're used to. Okay, here we go. Dragons, Urchin, wow. Okay, there we go. We almost have one of every land, actually, in this box. That's pretty nice. Five lander, five rare lander um, already. Pretty neat, man. Pretty neat. Okay, boom. One, two, three, Wilson, Mahdi. Very good card. Pack, and we have our foil. Our foil is going to be Traverse the Outlands. Uh, foil rare. Here we go, put that in the sleeve. Boom. All right, so we have five packs left. Okay, boom, Evolving Wilds, boom. All right, okay. Sculpted Sunburst is our rare. Still at three Mythic, but we have four, four packs left, so maybe I think, maybe we still have one more Mythic in this box. I feel we have one more mythic. All right, so we're gonna have five landers. Maybe we can get six lander and a mythic. Ooh, that'd be fun. Wow, so this is a three rare pack, right? So here we go. Um, foil rare, Miriam. I think Miriam is actually a really, um, really good card. Just kind of useful. Whenever another non-token dragon creature enters the battlefield under your control, create a token that's a copy of it, except token isn't legendary if that dragon is legendary. So you can do some crazy shenanigans with this, I think. I have not been putting the common uh, showcase cards separating them, so they're probably in here somewhere. Work on that later. Dragon, I thought for a second this was the copper dragon. I was gonna be so excited, but it's not the copper dragon. It's just the rare wrathful dragon. 
All right, here we go. The orbs, Dirge, Guardian Naga, three of these guys. These are legendary. Okay. Kindred Discovery, really great rare as well. And, oh, here we go. Yeah. So uh, our Death Bringer is our kind of foil showcase card. So that's kind of nice. How do I get this to focus? Like, do I just start here and then bring it up? It's like focus on the background, right? What's the what's the way to do it? Like this? Ah, there we go. Huh, okay. Well, anyways. <clears throat> Our foil showcase, we'll put it right here. Last pack um, of the box. So, pretty good, I would say. I mean, we didn't hit, like, more than three Mythic Rares. However, we did hit five Landers, which um, is not a common or easy thing to do in a box. So, um, it's possible, right, obviously. But uh, it's not common oh oh i spoke too soon guys look there's mythic number four so we did hit a four mythic draft box here and that's that so anyways um there you have it this is the uh opening of the <laughs> commander legends draft booster box um i think maybe i'll do another one on video so we'll see that um but otherwise i'm gonna start working super hard to get all the order shipped um instead of kind of hang out with you guys Anyways, uh, it's Mark Solar Games. If you want to uh, check out my stuff, you can you can buy from me. You can search for me, uh, Solar Games, on um, eBay, TCG Player, as well as Macari. Those are the three platforms I sell from. Any other platform that has, uses my name, that's not me. So those are the three I do sell from. Um, you can of course just contact me, DM me within YouTube if you want certain cars. We can work out deals directly as well. So let me know. Thanks. This is Mark signing out. Bye.